In our in-house mechanical lab at Scanrico, we are testing our products for random and sinus vibrations, mechanical shocks and drops, according to the IEC 60068 series of standards. We also do some accelerated life cycle tests according to Scanrico test cycles. We test our transmitters for repeated free falls from half a meter in our rotating chamber. As the chamber rotates, the product drops randomly on all different sides. We do a thousand drops in this chamber to simulate everyday rough usage. The pass criteria is that the transmitter must be fully functional after these 1000 drops. As if this wasn't enough, our transmitters must also withstand occasional drops from higher altitudes. This is tested from three different heights, and the transmitter is dropped on all six sides from each level, once on each side of the product. To be able to better assess the impact of these tests, we use a high-speed camera that allows us to review each drop in slow motion. From one meter, we drop the product both in room temperature and as deep frozen right out of the freezer. Then we also drop the transmitter from both two and three meters once again on all six different sides of the transmitter. Using our vibration test equipment, we test three different aspects. Mechanical shock, simulating sudden powerful impacts, such as big road bumps or when the operator drops the transmitter. Random vibrations to simulate everyday use, different amplitudes and frequencies in random patterns. Sinus wave vibrations, tested in sweeps from low to high frequencies to detect self-oscillation. In a machine that operates at a constant frequency, there is a higher risk of damage to the equipment. We have a robot to assist us in accelerated endurance tests of repeated operations, activating joysticks or push buttons or swapping the battery in the transmitter. The robot helps us to test millions of operations. Here you will see the Rocket Flex transmitter.